Hey guys, and this is going to be YouTube tip number 9. And this topic of the YouTube tip number 9 is going to be obs observation. But not only observation, but observing other YouTubers. Like when you start out, like my recommendation is when you're just starting out as a YouTuber. Like, what's, like... All everyone nowadays has watched a YouTube video here and there, or regularly. But uh, everybody has their favorite YouTubers. So pretty much focus uh, on your favorite YouTubers. See what they're doing. See how they're successful. Like my suggestion is to look at at least three. YouTubers that are successful. Seeing where, like, what well works for them or whatnot. And then trying out all, like, some, like, th those three YouTubers that you've been observing and pretty much combine, combine those three styles per se making your own and if that doesn't work just I can want the uh, YouTube tip videos improvise and name up this gear but out the camera thank you uh, if you guys want to say hi to him here's Nemo hi hi okay but pretty much if one tactic doesn't work, try another one. Kind of the purpose of me, I forgot what number YouTube tip, the, uh, me saying the improvising subject of the YouTube tip was, but, uh, pretty much, if one play doesn't work, fall into another one. But I highly suggest you guys, uh, especially if you guys are new to the, whole YouTube thing and want to know how you can potentially make your YouTube videos even better than you have in mind observe at least three YouTubers and don't exactly copy their style yes use some of their methods but have it have it be like your own personal twist possibly to their methods and uh yeah always have a plan i think that was like number two all the youtube tips where i said always have a plan and in this case yeah have a plan of what you're wanting the subject to be in the video if you're going to make a video like this one where you're just talking about one subject and then, possibly have some bullet points just to help you. It's okay to go off subject here and there in the video, but try to stick with, like, the topic, mostly. Now, if you want to be a streamer, same concept applies to if you want to make the type of videos practically like how I am now, just talking. If you want to be a streamer in terms of being a gamer, streaming, then, yeah, that's, uh, same goes supply. I suggest, like, Nerdy Girl Fencers, Phil Green, Simulations, uh, That Nerd, uh, you know, they haven't really uploaded many videos on their channel snorkeling beluga uh even if you want to observe this channel or my own channel phil tm and t the abbreviation for teenage mutant and necessaries if something that this channel my own channel is if or it's one of your favorite youtube channels which i'll be flattered if as other one is what you guys count as your favorite youtube channel but observe. Those are my recommendations.
bro, I'm not all that, I'm not ex exactly experienced, I don't feel like, but all the other YouTube channels I mentioned, I suggest you guys go check them out so you guys can uh, have multiple YouTuber, YouTuber skills, whether it's streamers or uh, videos, people who pre-record videos and then upload vi uh, that on YouTube. I mean, uh, not only does that help you be a better YouTuber, it will also attract people to your channel as well. Definitely helps bring in uh, people that would subscribe and want to be regular. I mean... When I started, yeah, I kind of observed, not as much as I should have. But I never really had anyone to personally help me. So, when I first started three years ago, I didn't really know what I was doing. So I just mostly improvised. I mostly talked about Star Wars and stuff like that. And I think I got like... 20 maybe 30 subscribers on my channel and this was before this channel was created before I was able to stream and my 30 slash 40 subscribers turned into like 112 subscribers I think which I am thankful for my channel and this channel has gotten uh I think it's like 103 subscribers currently, which I am so glad that Skater Shadows got 103 subscribers. It truly, it truly means a lot, and thank you guys. Just like I said, observing uh, other YouTubers, then applying certain aspects of those what those YouTubers does into your videos slash live streams, but also having your own personal choice to it makes the quality of your videos better and will attract people into becoming regulars on your channel and pretty much stuff like that. Uh, so that's my tip of the day. There's my tip of if you wanted to attempt to push your chances of being a successful YouTuber, first observe some of your favorite YouTubers before making a video. Because that will help. Like uh, some of my other favorite YouTubers that are not streamers, Jerry, uh, the Hulk Kicks and Gamers uh, team, uh, Jesse Milestones, Ivan Ortega. Uh, Black Nerd Comedy, Kate Wilson, uh, Jeremy Johns, he used, mine used to be Angry Joe, but he cursed him much, which is the whole reason why I did the YouTube tip number 8, which is, or 7, I forget what's number, uh, cursed responsibly, uh, Rain Diamond, who's a personal friend to me, Kat Wilson, who is a streamer that I forgot to mention earlier, uh, Cody's house and Seed Pods. Was I made a playlist of Seed Pods just in case you guys have trouble finding her channel? But those ten channels that I mentioned are only a few, only a fraction of what's my favorite YouTube channels. Even if you add in the streamers I mentioned, my favorite streamers I mentioned, that's only a fraction of my favorite you, my favorite tubers that's on uh, YouTube. And I continually observe what makes them successful, and I do my best to put my personal spin onto. It, which, 
thankfully it, it's been successful of my channel has 112 subscribers and this channel having 103 subscribers currently and I thank God and you guys for uh, the 103 subs and uh, yeah it's just that will boost your chances and long story short was the whole purpose of this channel, I mean, not channel, but video, observe other YouTubers, because other YouTubers that, like, if you're new, other YouTubers cl clearly has more experience than you, if you're just starting out as a YouTuber, because those experienced YouTubers, regardless if they're CEO or not, are the best teachers for you. Plus, if you have anyone else that in real life that can help you, help teach you the ropes that is also a YouTuber. But, I feel like observing experienced YouTubers could possibly be more beneficial than having somebody give you personal advice of how to make your YouTube channel better. But, still listen to those people to try and give you tips. So, uh, anyways, observe more experienced YouTubers. Trust me, it helps. So, I'll see you later, and somebody sleepy. Yeah, somebody sleepy, so I better go before I wake him up. So, I'll see you guys later, and uh, on a totally random note, may the force be with us all.